Hi, everyone. We've got a question from a fellow boater named uh, James. James asks, hey, Jeff, random question. Um, you probably know the answer, but is it okay for me to mix uh, different types of batteries together? For instance, AGM with flooded batteries. Does it matter? Well, it sort of does. I mean, if you're desperate, it's going to work. So the question from James, I mean, it's not like the end of the world. Uh, if you have to do it, you can do it. And especially if you're stuck or you're somewhere, you can definitely mix and match different battery types if you're stuck. But if you're planning and you're doing this right and you have the time or access to the right materials, the answer is no. Um, the reality is batteries have different sort of resting voltages. And the moment that you disconnect a charger from a battery, um, there's going to be a battery that's a higher voltage than the other. And that battery will constantly drain to try to recharge or prop up the weaker battery. So it's really going to make the stronger batteries lose capacity over time because they're trying to even themselves out and to bring up the batteries that are apparently weaker than them that are wired in parallel. So that'd be one thing. Second thing is if you've got an AGM battery in a bank and a flooded battery in the same bank, how do you choose what charger profile you're going to put on? Are you going to choose an AGM charge profile? Are you going to choose a flooded lead acid profile? Remember, you, your, your battery charger can only choose one charge profile per battery bank. So then you end up compromising. Are you going to undercharge or are you going to overcharge? Either way, you're stuck. You're never going to be able to give the batteries exactly what they want. So mixing batteries or mixing different battery types and also mixing different battery of age is also a big no-no. It's a little bit like um, I've heard a, one of the uh, comparable sort of advice is uh, tires for a car. You know, if you've got a set of tires and you've had them for five, six years and, you know, they've they've got some, they're worn out, but they're still usable. And uh, for whatever reason, you lose one of the tires. It's not advisable to buy a brand new tire for only one tire and have three five-year-old tires. So same advice. You can't mix and match even AGM batteries, especially if they're of really different age. So once the battery has done a certain number of cycles, the delta between a new battery and an old battery is quite significant. And so you're really wasting a new battery by putting it on a really old battery bank. So my advice, if possible, again, if possible, uh, would be to make sure that your battery bank is always uh, made up of the same type of battery, right? Chemistry. So if it's an AGM battery, AGM batteries, make sure it's the same manufacturer because not all AGM batteries have the same charge profile. So try to have it all from the same vintage, you know, bought at the same time, same sort of life. They're all new, good. They're all AGM from the same manufacturer, even better. And by doing that, you're effectively going to have a longer battery life. So that would be my advice to James. Thanks for all of you for tuning in. And I wish you all safe boating. So if you're curious, again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.